Sometimes corn comes in a barrel. We're talking the oil and whiskey variety. More on the whiskey later. First, a product we maybe can't live without. Most people enjoy our oils on a daily basis and don't even realize it. Potato chips, salad dressing, mayonnaise, hummus, even coffee creamer. We do millions and millions of bottles of bottled oil, whether it's under a store brand or our own La Spagnola or Marconi brands. Stephen Bazil is Vice President of Catania Oils in Ayer, Massachusetts. Catania processes and packs plant-based oils, including corn oil. I can tell you on an annual basis, yeah. we go through about three million gallons of corn oil. We might be bottling straight corn oil, or we might be blending it with other oils. It's actually been given a heart healthy claim by the American Heart Association. It's a great oil to, to use, whether you're, you're sauteing in your kitchen. It's great oil to deep fry in. It's got a high smoke point, 450 degrees. Catania's corn oil is not refined here, however. All the refining gets done out in the Midwest at crop the origin. The refining is done yeah, not here. Yeah, Illinois, Iowa, Nebraska, and Minnesota is your big four. So this is our rail receiving yard, and from here is where we do all of our testing. Refined oil arrives at Catania on these rail cars. Rail cars take about 12 to 14 days to get here, so every rail car is nitrogen blanketed to ensure that the, the oil stays fresh. We have four certified chemists on staff. We rely very heavily on them to approve every single batch before it comes into the building. The oils are also checked for stability, even color, before going into one of 67 processing tanks. Four generations of Bazils have run Catania since 1900. Bazile's great-grandfather, Giuseppe Bazile, founded the company in Sicily. He brought his business here and started selling oil house to house to all the Italian neighborhoods in Lynn and East Boston. Catania began with olive oil, later processing canola, soybean, and pretty much everything in between. Yeah, a lot of technology and innovation has come into this business in the last 15 to 20 years, the way that we even blend oil. Suffice it to say, your great-grandfather would stand in this spot we're in now, take a look at this, and faint. Yeah. None of us really knew what it would take to go from a hobby to actually opening a distillery. This is the latest bourbon. But Alicia uh, Catucci and her husband Carlo are crushing it as owners of White Dog Distilling in Pawtucket, Rhode Island. I kind of think of it as I'm the butcher and she's the executive chef. White Dog Distilling makes a variety of spirits including bourbon, rum, and whiskey. White Dog is slang for moonshine. It's the foundation of all spirits and it's the recipe that determines whiskey, rum, gin. Corn whiskey is perhaps White Dog's most unusual specialty. It's one of the oldest ingredients in this country that's been used to uh, create spirits. George Washington had a recipe, Abe Lincoln had a recipe using corn. Over the years, corn whiskey has kind of uh, taken a back seat to things like bourbon and maybe, you know, Tennessee whiskeys. The distillery recently moved to this 950 square foot production facility in Lorraine Mills, alongside other independent businesses. This is our 150 gallon mash ton, and what we're doing right now is the water has been heated up to 165 degrees, and I'm going to uh, pour some flaked maize in there, corn. The science, anyway, of spirit making comes a bit naturally to Carlo. He's a high school physics teacher. It definitely helps with the measuring and the, the calculations that are involved. Corn has a lot of starch in it, so that is one of the reasons why it's good for making any kind of whiskey or alcohol. We try to break down the starch so that we can get the sugar out of it. That's what we use for the yeast to break down into alcohol. Alicia Catucci says customers are surprised by corn whiskey's clean, sweet taste. 85% corn, 15% malted barley. It's pure, it doesn't introduce different flavors from the barrel. I would say old fashions and neat are very popular. Whiskey sours do well too. The Catucci's are looking into distributing their spirits, but for now remain focused on their new bar, which they built and designed during the pandemic. All businesses appreciate people coming to visit, even if it's curbside pickup, you know, we all still need it. We're definitely not out of this.
I mean, there's really corn in just about everything, mm -hmm. right? All right, well, Alicia and Carla, they are, as Ted mentioned, are looking into distribution, mm -hmm. but they're right now they're focusing on their bar and online sales because their distillery is still so small. And back to uh, Tanya Oils, 55% of their customers are bulk food manufacturers, and if you notice the names on the processing tanks, those are all Bazile family members, so they get a little shout-out in they, the factory. There they go. Next, getting creative with cornbread. <laughs>